responsibility is really the, the conservation, taking care of the turtles. But that involves taking care of the beach, just the, the nesting habitat, and um, taking care of the three species of turtles that come to nest on the beach. Even though you're on the beach, they're not afraid of you. The first set that would just come, like they're coming for the first time, if they see any lights, they would go. But then they, they, we noticed that over the years, those that come more than once for the season, they're not afraid of the light anymore. They would come up and they would stay around you. The, the sun, it comes and goes. So sometimes it might not have a lot of sun in the, in the area where the turtle comes up. So we would normally have stones in the, in the, in the hole while the turtle is digging. That's so hard for us. Yeah, because it had a lot of stones. We ain't falling. We ain't falling. We ain't falling. <laughs> and we have to dig the hole for the leatherback. A lot of stones. Yeah. Wet. <laughs> I, I dig the hole. And the leatherback lay about 110 eggs. Yeah, wrong I succeed. <laughs> I'm very happy. I work it hard, but I succeed. <laughs> like if you don't dig the hole, it won't lay. Yes, so we have lay. to help it out. Yes. Those eggs are very vulnerable. The leatherbacks are huge and sometimes they don't come too far up the beach. And so where they can eventually lay their eggs can be very vulnerable. The ocean can come there, come up, either erode the sand and just wash away the eggs or sometimes pile up debris over the nest, particularly seaweed. And when the eggs do hatch 70 days after the titus, like, uh, the baby hatchlings can come up, but they can't overcome the, the debris that's piled on top of the nest. I've, I've put all the record. How many eggs, the date, yeah. how many small, how many big. Anything we observe about the titus, everything is documented. Documenting all the, active, the nesting activities, keeping track of the turtles. We apply flipper tags so we can track, track them and measure them so we can monitor their growth and all of that. Yeah, well, relocating eggs is not a practice that we, we do you know, lightly. We, we do that only in our judgment if it's absolutely necessary. A leatherback has to dig 70 centimeters on average, the chamber, before she can get to the trance and lay the eggs. Sometimes she can get to the 70 centimeters and does lay the eggs. In other words, the conditions at that spot, at that time, is good. But she doesn't know that, but we do know that a week, two weeks, a month down the road, that spot is not going to remain as it is at the time that she's laying the eggs. You know that. So we we'll take those eggs and take them higher up. Normally we have we have a, 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 a choice area where we, in fact, we, we, we consider our hatchery. Place the eggs, we, we put them in a, in a container, then we bring them here, we, we decide a, a, a spot, we dig the, the, the hole, we dig the hole to the depth, the, the turtle dog it on, on, on the beach, and we put the, the big eggs first, some big eggs and some small, big, a little bit of small. We've had years operating here, we are the only leatherback hatchlings that made it out to sea successfully for the season were from eggs that we relocated. Eggs that we left, everything got lost. So we take care of the turtles, take care of the eggs and the hatchlings after the hatch. About three years passed, yeah. that hatch is full, full of eggs. Yeah. No places to we put more have, eggs. We now have any more space. Do you know how, how long it'll be until you see whether or not you were successful here? Like, when these hatchlings go off, how do we know we're successful? Uh, until um, 20, 25 years. <laughs> right, right. So we don't know oh. that we're successful for... Yeah. And that's the bummer about this, is that 
we'll be old. I'll, I'll be an old man by the time that we. Uh, I'm already an old man. I'll be oh, in my. Yeah. <laughs> when this year's hat teams come back, I'll uh, be what? Seventy? <laughs> oh my God! That's crazy to think about, right? <laughs> Don't laugh, dude. That's crazy. Uh, I think about it. I'll, 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 when you started this, what? Ten years ago. Yeah. Right. When you, this is your tenth year doing this. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. Okay. I stopped that ten years. Okay. So it's ten years. So you still have another, at least ten another years. decade to go until any of your hatchings come back.